Hello everyone, my name is DJ Barry and in this video we'll be going over SNDL's performance from Friday and what this means for the future of the stock price. And make sure you guys stick around towards the end of this video because I will be including my price predictions for tomorrow. So if you want to know exactly where I stand with SNDL right now, I recommend you watch this full video. And if you guys are new to my channel, I make investment related videos so if you're interested in learning more, then feel free to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And that also helps me grow my channel and helps videos like this reach more people. And real quick before we start off this video, make sure you hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and not only is it free to do, it also helps me out a lot and allows me to keep making videos like this. So make sure you guys hit that like button and now let's get right into this video. Alright, so SNDL opened up on Friday trading at 73 cents and that was also our high for the day as Red right reopened, we shot right down and hit a low of 72 cents. But as we got towards the middle of the day, we began to come up a little bit but that quickly changed as we came right back down as we got closer to market close. And at 4pm when the markets closed, SNDL was trading at 72 cents and then in the after hours, we also stayed right at that number and finished the week trading at 72 cents. So SNDL obviously didn't have the best day on Friday, but we actually did better than the whole overall stock market as we came down only 1.68%, while mostly every stock was in the red by a lot more. And guys, do not be alarmed about Friday's performance. The whole stock market had a pretty bad day, and we saw an overall dip to close off the week. So it wasn't just SNDL or just the cannabis sector coming down. We saw stocks like Tesla and Apple and other big name companies like that all come down a pretty good amount. And yes, obviously some stocks did better than others and some sectors were in the green, but overall the whole market did bad and unfortunately SNDL came down with them. But now the question is, can SNDL come back from this or will we see this dip last even longer? And in this video, I'll be doing my best to answer that question, but first let's take a look at these stock charts and see what they are telling us. So first, let's take a look at our major spread line. So this line is still the 65 cent line and our major spread line was set all the way back on May 13th as SNDL experienced a very big dip. And actually just a couple weeks ago, we got within 3 cents of that line, but thankfully we came back up a little bit and now we are more than 7 cents away from that line. And I know that's still pretty close, but it's much better than just 3 cents. But now let's hope we can see that gap continue to grow bigger and with the, and with the direction SNDL is going in right now, it's looking a little shaky after the last two days of trading, but now we just have to wait and see. And for those who don't know what the major spring line is, here's a good way to describe it. So it's basically like a belt keeping up your pants. This line is the major line that's holding up the stock price and keeping it from crashing down much lower. So this line is very, very important. And so that's why I started getting a little nervous a couple weeks ago when we got really close to it. Because if we do break below this line, then we have a very good chance of seeing SNDL crash down a very good amount. But as of right now, we are no longer at risk as SNDL begins to show more and more promise. So thankfully, the 65 cent line will remain our major spread line. But now to move on and take a look at the normal spread line that we formed last week. So our normal spread line is going to be the 72 cent line. And as you can see here on the chart, at the end of the week on Friday, we saw SNDL come down a little bit before it became stable. So when SNDL hit this price, the stock shows the support we were able to hold this line. So for now, our spread line is going to be the 72 cent line. And if we do break below this line, then obviously that would not be a good sign. But as long as we stay above our major spread line of 65 cents, then we'll be okay. Now with SNDL being a little slow over the last couple days of trading, I think we could see things turn around. And I think Sundial can stay above the support line and form a new and higher one very soon. And obviously that is just my opinion and I also could be wrong, but now we just have to wait and see if we can hold this line. But as I said before, if we do break below this line, then obviously that will not be a good sign, but as long as we stay above our major sprint line, then we'll be all right. So those were the two lines that we're looking to stay above, but now let's move on and talk about the lines that we're trying to break above. All right, so what I like to do when I'm looking for the line that I want the stock to break above, I like to look at the previous levels that the stock was trading at before we came down to a lower price. And when we take a look at the chart, we can see we we're trading at 74 cents before we came down a little bit to where we are right now. And so when SNDL hit this line, the stock showed some resistance and was unable to break above. So now this is the line we want SNDL to try and break above because if we can break above previous resistance points, then that'll be a very good sign. And if we do break above the 74 cent line, then the next line we'll be trying to break above will be the 76 cent line. Alright, so after everything we talked about in this video, where can we see SNDL go tomorrow, Monday, September 13th? Okay, so obviously Friday wasn't the best day, but it also could have been a lot worse, so that's that. And as much as I want to say we'll see a full recovery tomorrow, I don't quite think that's going to happen just yet. I do think by the end of next week, we'll be back in the green and be above where we are right now. But I think tomorrow we could see another slow day and approximately another 1% drop in price. 
But remember guys, I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. These videos are strictly my opinion and my opinion only and I always could be wrong. So just please take videos like this one and other ones similar to it with a grain of salt and also do your own research. But anyways, tomorrow I think we could see Essendale open up the day with a little bit of action in the early morning and show some bits and glimmers of hope and reach a high of 74 cents. But I think after that, we'll only touch that level briefly as we quickly come back down to the 72 cent line. And then from there, I think we could see a little bit more of a dip and hit a low of 71 cents and close at that close the day at that number as well. And I could be completely wrong about this. And honestly, I really do hope I am because I want SNDL to succeed and be in the green. But based off my opinion and my research of the whole overall market right now, it's looked like where we are going to see a little bit more red before we see things turn around. And that is going to be all for this video, guys. Those are my predictions on where I think s is going tomorrow. But now I'm curious to see what you guys think. So comment your predictions down below. And hope you guys all enjoyed. And if you did, then feel free to like and subscribe. I hope you guys all had a great day today. Thank you all for watching. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. And peace out.